And uh, a great win last time out, and now moving forward back to the O2 Arena and uh, first defence of the British middleweight title. Yeah, it's great. It's great to be back with Sky and Lee and everyone involved. As you wish. Um, Seems the right and right. He's too nice a kid to be a fighter, and he's training nice people. That's nice. Um, looking forward to the fight. Your banks is still in great shape. He, uh, he was in the gym within four days after the fight. His weight's perfect. He's looking brilliant. So um, we've got to look out some from the best of Obviously, uh, you know him inside out as well, and you know, lots of talks about you know, you, these fights against the very best in the division. You feel now as part of the training team, but he's more ready, more than ready for those challenges. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he right, whoever he, I mean, I go by this, it was three years ago when he sparred with um, Groves, and um, you haven't have been there to believe, I'm not going to put Groves in, it's a great fight, and the same with uh, Frotch. Whoever you put him in with, he will rise uh, to the occasion, and he, he just, he's, one, he's like the old man, I never had any worries with the old man that he fought. Um, he knows how to get the job done. He's one of them boys, he knows how to win. So, I'm not expecting it. I think he will win. I know he will. As we wouldn't put it with the old man and that, but he wouldn't put him in the game. Baby. So, he'll win that, and then, then, he, then he's there. He's there already, but he's even more there. He can, he can beat Garfield. He's got the style of beat Garfield. That's what I'm going to say. English, nice. welcome. So, welcome back. I don't feel like you've been a part. You know, so. It's been a fantastic couple of weeks that he's done, like you said, on the phone yesterday. It's, uh, it's good fun at the same time. We're delighted to be working with you again. And uh, ahead of June 25th, the start, and then moving on and, and talking about your plans for the future for Shoe Bank Junior. Tom Dorham is, um, whatever he has been in the past, he's been to raise his game by about 4 to 5%. Um, so he's going to be dangerous. And he can punch. Uh, I've studied him, um, and you know I have instructed and taught my son not to look past the next one. Just win the next one, and the championships come. Just build the next one. So on the 25th of June, Junior will uh, do what he does, and if it is as I know it to be, um, compelling. Drama. If he if he performs, then we get past this one. Then it's the 29th, I believe, of August. Okay, uh, because we'd like to get that Lonsdale belt. You know, we are a very proud Englishman. Uh, we want that Lonsdale belt. So if we can get three fights in before Golovkin, if he takes the fight, because personally I don't think he will. Um, but that's another point, and we have to concentrate on Tom. But that long stay or belt is important to us first, and then Golovkin, if you can make the fight, it does not double you. Because it, you know, we have a two-fight deal. If you can get Golovkin, that may actually create a long-term relationship, of which I would like. But you're going to have to work for your bread. <laughs> you're going to get the fight. Talk is cheap. Um, personally, I don't think that Golovkin will take the fight. I think his people will be very wise not to take the fight if they do boxing. Uh, the energy that Junior has, as far as I'm concerned, with my mathematics of stop laughing at me. My daughter's laughing at me. <laughs> She's heard it all before. Um, my mathematics, I don't see how Golovkin can win the fight. Um, and we are fierce, and we are relentless, and we are bold. And so if you can make that fight, well, we're very happy for it. Not discounting the fact that we have to get past this young man. On, on my left in Tom Doyle. Thank you. Junior, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see you back at the O2. It was a very special night last time you boxed there against Spike O'Sullivan. It was uh, the perfect platform, the perfect auditorium for you to do your thing. And uh, same again 
more of that and uh, looking forward to another great performance on June 25th. Yeah, I'm happy to be back. It's, uh, it's a great platform. I've always said Sky Sports is, is uh, you know, one of the best places, if not the best place to fight on in, in British boxing. You know, you guys are, you guys are really putting it together. So uh, to be back on this world stage is uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, we've got us on the fire with Tom Dory. Um, I'm sure he's going to come and, you know, he's going to try and cause an upset. And that's, uh, that's what everyone wants to see. Everyone wants to see a competitive, um, you know, drama-filled fight. So hopefully we can put it on for you guys. I know I'm 100% ready. I'm, uh, I'm in the gym, I'm training. And, um, you know, once the weight's off, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fight time. Here. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously there is talk about the future and, you know, we know you're focused on the 25th. How much does that talk and that tension to future plans affect your preparation, or is it just, as Chris said, one fight at a time and deal with the 25th first? It is one fight at a time, but obviously, when you know you're walking, to, uh, when you're working towards, um, you know, a super fight, then uh, you know, that's that always plays a role in your training and your preparation. Um, for me, it's a positive thing. It makes me. It makes me train harder, it makes me focus more because I know each step I take, I'm getting closer and closer to, um, you know, to a huge world level, um, world stage fight against, against Golovkin, against your, anyone in the, top, in the top three, anyone who has a belt. Um, you know, this, is, uh, this is what I dream of, to pursue these guys and to take them out in, uh, in devastating fashion. And, um, like, you know, obviously we've got Tom Dorn here, you know, we're not looking past him at all. Uh, you know, every fight is dangerous. They know that by beating me, they're going to elevate and project themselves into, you know, uh, onto, a world, onto a world level and, and, and public, publicity-wise, it's, it's a great thing. It's a huge opportunity for them. So everybody comes to fight. So uh, I can't take any of the ground. So, um, you know, we're going to get past Tom and then we're going to move on to these guys and we're going to take over the division. Thank you. We look forward to a great fight on June 25th and a huge night on Sky Sports box office at the O2 Arena. Sold out in 30 minutes. If you have your ticket, congratulations because you've got another barnstormer on your hands at the O2 Arena. Uh, all the guys here are going to be available for one-on-ones. Uh, we've had the photos, but again, thanks for coming. Look forward to a great build-up on Sky Sports, and don't forget to miss. Don't forget not to miss the action uh, next week uh, for the huge double head up Saturday and Sunday in Glasgow and Liverpool. Thank you for coming. Cheers. Uh, just uh, one, one more point, that um, we're, we're not, it's a very ugly word, but greedy, we're not greedy, but there is a super middleweight division as well. And after uh, we clean up, sorry, after Junior, <laughs> after Junior cleans up the middleweight division, there's a fellow called James DeGale, you know, and he was rude to Junior some years ago, um, and we remember this, and we have you on our minds. And so, you know, he's going to be the first port of call when Junior moves up to Super Um Everybody's been boiled and cooked. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming. One on one is available now. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Hilton here in Park Lane for, I guess, a double announcement today. Um, two great bits of news. Seems like major news breaking every day at the moment in British boxing. The first piece of news we're delighted to agree in a new promotional agreement with Chris Eubank Promotions. And of course, working with Chris Eubank Jr., the current British middleweight champion and ahead of a great fight on June the 25th against the unbeaten Tom Duran, the British middleweight title. June the 25th is a very, very special night. Of course, the first defense of Anthony Joshua's world heavyweight crown against Dominic Brazil. Chris Eubank Jr. against Tom Doran. Fantastic world title eliminator between George Groves and Martin Murray, and a number of other top fights on the card as well. I'm very excited to talk about the future with Chris Eubank Jr. and also this outstanding fight on June the 25th. Firstly, as you know, we've, we've worked briefly in the past before on some great nights in Sheffield, and of course, the Spike O'Sullivan fight at the O2 Arena. A 
fantastic performance from Chris Eubank Jr. defending, oh sorry, winning the British title against Nick Blackwell at Wembley. And now we're very excited to move to the future. Of course, I've been told what to do and what to deliver. And no disrespect to Tom Doran, who's appeared on a number of our shows, a fantastic test for Chris Eubank Jr. But my instructions are very clear, and that is to make the Gennady Golovkin fight. And uh, there are many people who talk about that fight in world boxing, um, but not many that would sign and bite your hand off tomorrow. And here we have a young fighter and uh, an advisor and a role model that will, and they'll do it now. So I know we're here to talk about the Tom Doran fight, and I know it's a very difficult fight, but I wanted to get this message across to the British media and the worldwide media that we are here and ready to commit to a fight with Triple G now, today. Um, talked with Tom Loughlin last night, talked with him this morning. We know they've got options, they're in a wonderful position. But here we have an option that's real, ready, and more importantly for them and their business model, ready to put pen to paper. So, no disrespect to Tom Doran, I know he's got his plans on June the 25th. Both guys, fresh off the back of fight of the year contenders, Tom Doran just winning the WBC international title in an unbelievable shootout with Luke Keeler at the Echo Arena. And uh, first things first to get through June 25th, but my instructions are very, very clear and the way forward with Team Eubank, and I will be doing everything I can to deliver. Firstly, as always, we would not be here without our exclusive broadcast partner, Sky Sports, continuously backing us ahead of a wonderful weekend of action next weekend. Ricky Burns attempts to become a three-weight world champion at the Hydro Arena in Glasgow against Michele De Rocco, the WBA super, super light welterweight title. And the very next day at Everton Football Club, Tony Bellew will challenge Ilunga Makabu for the WBC vacant cruiserweight world title. Unbelievable times for British boxing. And I'm um, pass you over to a man instrumental in those times, the head of boxing at Sky Adam Smith. Thanks Eddie. Um, to make it very, very clear, the excitement that we've all got at Sky for the state of British boxing at the moment is considerable. I think the best ever. Yeah, very, very interested in next weekend, the double dose from uh, Glasgow and from Liverpool, as Tony Bellew has his dream night. That should be something else at, uh, at Goodison Park. June the 25th though, and that's a day, a summer sizzler for everyone's uh, diary. Not only have we got the return of uh, AJ, who uh, I know is training extremely hard for what's in front of him in Dominic Brazil. We've got cameras out in California following Brazil, who believes he will, uh, he will shock the world. He was embarrassed, pained by what happened with his compatriot Charles Martin and uh, you'll be seeing in a couple of weeks on the gloves are off a very very dedicated guy and an excited guy to come and try and uh, break the aj bubble but on a on a splendid night at the o2 we've got george groves and martin murray we've now got this it's brilliant to have chris eubank jr and his dad back on sky uh, i was tremendously excited when eddie told me the news uh, it's really, really good for us. Uh, I am fascinated by his career, by his journey. But I've also really enjoyed what's happened in the last year and a half to this man on my left, Tom Doran. Let's not forget him. Let's not talk about GGG at the moment. Tom Doran is an unbeaten pro who, having won prize fighter, has proved that he belongs uh, in these sort of fights. And I think the last time we saw him, those four minutes were possibly the most exciting four minutes I've seen in, in, in many years at a domestic level. You know, he got off, off the canvas, he beat Luke Keeler, who was a very, very dangerous assignment that night. And Tom Doran deserves this opportunity. I think it's a really good fight. And I think it's just another reason to be uh, tuning into Sky Sports Box Office on June the 25th, laced with action. Uh, a fantastic top of the bill, a fantastic chief support with, well, pick, take your pick, is it Rose Murray, is it Eubank Doran? It's a double one, isn't it? And then you've got stacks of other fighters on the card. I think it's going to be a brilliant one. And uh, we'll be giving you uh, everything in the build-up as usual on .com, on Sky Sports News, and of course on Linear. So uh, welcome back to Sky, Chris Eubank Jr. And welcome Tom Doran to what should be the fight of your, of your life as well. Thanks, Adam. Firstly, to hear from the Doran team, as Adam said, has had some fantastic performances on Sky. Of course, William Price fighter was a great night for him. And uh, coming through in a number of other fights since, and that big win against Keeler. I'm going to hear from trainer Shane Thomas. Shane, 
a great opportunity for Tom, but certainly one that he deserves a shot at the British title. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a fight we really, we really, we really want. We, we, we asked Dave for it, Dave's asked for it. And, and I, it's a great shot, great shot for Tom. The fight's been very well received on social media already. Yeah. Tom is the underdog in the fight. How do you think the styles will gel in this fight? I know you won't give tactics away, but game plan important ahead of June 25th? Yeah, we have been working on the game plan. But like I say, it's, Tom does, I know how good Tom is. So it's one of them, so it's, it's 50 50 fight. Tom, obviously, uh, you took this fight in a heartbeat. Um, after talking to Dave, it was a fight you wanted. Do you feel now this is the natural step for you to change for the, for the Lonsdale Bell? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, thanks to Eddie and uh, Matchroom for getting another you know, fantastic bill. Um, and, but, you know, Dave Caldwell's um, part in uh, negotiating that. But, you know, this, this is what I want. You know, I've got the British title shot in my eye right now. Um, you know, it's, it's a bell I've wanted since I uh, turned pro, you know, and uh, now it's in my sights. I uh, intend to take the opportunity with both hands. Many people have changed for the bell in, in fights at this occasion. Obviously, you've not boxed in front of 17,000 at the O2 before, but you have won prize fight at the Sky, and you have boxed at the Echo Arena in front of 10,000 people before. Although it's a big occasion, you feel like you're, you're ready for this, you've already gained that valuable experience. I do, yeah, you know, there's been a couple of massive shows at the Echo, you know, in front of those, um, those raucous uh, scousers, and, um, you know, I think I'm going to soak up the atmosphere on the, uh, the 25th of June and then um, rise to the occasion. And finally, I'm, I know you've watched Junior on a number of occasions, I know you're, you're smart and you study the game as well. What kind of fight do you expect? And obviously, same question to you about the game plan, but you know exactly what Junior brings to the ring. Yeah, of course I do, you know, yeah, I've seen plenty of playing what Junior does, um, you know, and he, he's a great fighter, you know, you can't take that away from him, um, but I'll be working to a game plan and um, I think I've got the tools to um, to um, overcome the challenge. Thank you. Ronnie, great to see you back, looking very well as well.